right, it's the weekend. The van is dirty. I'm gonna go take the van, wash it, and then uh, give you guys a little van tour of the Ram ProMaster that we use for window cleaning. <music> clean now I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the van so it's a Dodge Ram ProMaster 1500 um, you have these ladder racks up here and these ladder racks are awesome I'm gonna show you real quick I did show it in a previous video but it's real fast you got these poles here you just hit this little clip right there come right there get that guy in bring it down just twisting this pole still. All right. And then you undo this pin here. And it down. And then you just pop the ladder off. And that's it. But that is a very nice feature to have because it's a very nice feature to have. Just uh, ladder racks are great, like the ones that you'd put on like a pickup. This one's just a little nicer as far as just not having to worry about your ladders ever coming off. Or I loved Gold Post, those in my other truck. Those are great, but I find these to be better. Right? They're just more expensive, so they're gonna be better. So we have a reverse cam up here, so we can see if we're uh, gonna hit anybody when we're backing up. But let's get into the inside of the van. Sliding door, and then two back doors. There they open. So pretty much, pretty much here, cup holders. This is where we have, um, these are our soaps or my big water bottle, trash can for any trash. I'm gonna close the back doors here cause it's windy. It's just a windy day. I was trying to clean the car and it was just a disaster. So as far as what we have in here, um, probably mount you up here. Okay. So as far as what we have in here, up here is just kind of a miscellaneous shelf. Um, gloves if we need them, uh, screen holder for ladder. We got an extra gunslinger up here. So we have a bunch of different bins here. And basically, um, 24 inch rubbers, 20 inch rubbers, 18 inch rubbers, 14 inch rubbers, any kind of little water fed pull supplies, any sort of traditional type of stuff, steel wool, magic erasers, and Tool pads. I still haven't gotten it organized exactly how I want, but Jim did an awesome, awesome job organizing it, so it, it's doing pretty well. Um, next year on this shelf, just since some miscellaneous stuff, I always put old razors in a Gatorade bottle. Um, so I put my squeegees for now. What I want to do is I want to mount something right up here or right here, and then put a bunch of clamps for my squeegees. I uh, just haven't gotten to that yet. Probably get to it later, later on this spring. Down below here, I have a bunch of mops, sleeves, a ledger there, also the new double bend 22 inch ledger, um, but a bunch of mops. So a bunch of sleeves here in the milk crate, uh, got like a Ederay backflip in there, it's got a bunch of mops just in case somebody needs ones or a T-bar breaks, that happens pretty commonly. Here, just a toolbox of, um, this is where I'll keep uh, Ederay rubbers, nothing, no reason why I'm not carrying there, but they're always shaded all the time and it's always pretty cool in here, so they never go bad. Um, just some squeegees in there, tools, flatheads, cutters, just in case something happens, duct tape, tool lanyards, just kind of a random uh, toolbox of different stuff. First aid, of course, very, very important just in case, and then just a few. Uh, just a couple 22 inch mops that I hardly ever use. Let me just put them back there. Have some extra hosing. This is an RHG hose reel. Great hose reel if you guys are looking to get one. Um, down here, 
a couple gallons of windshield washer fluid for the winter. And then uh, buckets go pretty nicely there. This other side, I have all of our water fed poles up in here. So this is where like, I've got a Tucker shorty pole. I've got the Phantom up there. I also have our long extension poles, window clean, and then a 14 inch Unger. It's kind of held up there by these and they stay up there really nice. Always have this one ready to go with the brush. Uh, right here, just a power drill, just in case you need it. Some cobweb dusters, gutter tool, and then um, all my water fed pole brushes that I use daily. You see this boar hair, this one's really almost done. Uh, I can't use this one much more anymore. And then um, in these buckets here, just traditional tools, random traditional tools just in case needed. I just like to have extra stuff around just in case we need it, right? Uh, sleeves, a couple bucket on the belts, soap still frozen, some Unger Easy Glide glass cleaner right there. Towels always go here. I just don't fold my towels. They're going to be unfolded anyways, so I fold them. We put our uh, two step ladders here. We're perfectly right there. Power washing hosing, power washer for screens. We don't do a whole lot of like power washing uh, as far as like big power washing stuff. So we don't really carry something big. We strictly use this for screens. This is a nice wall here, um, just for mounting up coats, hoses. I always put my belt here. Alex's stuff goes on the floor. We can put jackets in there. This is the area that I might change up a little bit and put um, some of the tool um, holders for like broomsticks and stuff, but for squeegees. But we have like them for poles in the back here, which I'll show you now. We have these right here to hold our poles. These you can find at like Home Depot or anywhere, um, real simple. Here is where I also carry one more pole here. That's my pole, uh, screen washer, hose to attach to here or extra hose if needed for anything else, uh, a reel of zero uh, hose tubing for the water fed pole, and then our zero here always mounts like this. I just put it in today to kind of show you how we mount it in here. It's super easy. There's some hooks down here. I just hook it right there and with two bungee cords. It's completely tight. There's not much. There's not much I'm even really going to change about it. This was all Jim's creation and he did an awesome job. Um, we got another van coming, so I'm sure he'll even do even aw more awesome. He built that whole wall, and he's got some great ideas as far as this stuff goes. I don't know where he ordered all the shelving, but we did have have it all uh, professionally put in. Uh, but man, it's it helps so much to have everything organized and to have everything here. It's such a help. I've worked out of a truck for over six years or seven years. Um, and it just, I just got tired of it. So like, I was so happy to be able to, uh, drive this work, work van. So this is our company van. It's not my personal, um, double doors here in the back. Very, very nice. I'll take you to the cab, the cab, front cab, pretty, pretty simple front cab here. Um, a lot of areas to hold stuff. Okay. So. And this cab, uh, not a best amount of room for like three people. But that's what it's made for. It's a bench seat, three person bench seat. Um, it's automatic. So a lot of storage up here. This is where we keep winter gloves, hats, uh, headphones, um, just different stuff like that. Down here and here, there's a little extra cubby, you know, cup holders around the sides, everything good. Extra storage in here. I mean, there's just stuff everywhere, so it's pretty awesome. But um, USB stuff for iPhones, pretty much everything you could possibly need is in this truck. So I wanted to make this video not to show off her van, but what I'd really like is to hear ideas from everybody else in the comments of what you guys have done with your vans and if you see something that we can improve. I always believe we could learn a lot from each other as far as in this community. There's a lot of things here at X Company we may not think about that you all, you know, is just common knowledge to you all as far as organizing this. Um, but it's great organized right now. I just tried to come up with a really good idea to hold the tools. So 
but I also wanted to kind of show you if you're thinking about getting a van, um, the Dodge Ram Promaster is great. Ford Transits are great. Nissan has a great one as well. Um, but it just provides you that extra room in the back to have everything with you, especially like being able to have the water fed pole and have all that. It's just awesome. I just, it's, it's such a, it's such a game changer, game changer. So, um, that's pretty much it as far as the tour of the van. I know a lot of you guys had asked me for it. So, um, I've had it in some pictures on Instagram, I've had it in a couple of videos, but until I really, it became my, my work van, I didn't really want to do a video on it. Um, so maybe when the other van comes, we'll do a video on that in like a year when that's all finally organized. And I'll give you guys little updates here and there about stuff I do in this van. But if you have any questions, comment below and, uh, I will answer them for you and we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Bye.